Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google. Make sure not to miss a single episode by subscribing to this channel right now. Done? Okay, good. It's been a couple weeks since Google I.O., and there's a few updates that you might have missed. Here they are. SyntaxNet, the world's most accurate parser, is now open source. It's a neural network framework implemented in TensorFlow that provides a foundation for natural language understanding systems. The release includes all the code needed to train new models on your own data, as well as Parsi McParseface, a parser already trained to analyze English text. Actually, it's the most accurate model of its kind in the world. Visit the post for more information and the GitHub link. Make big, unusual, and interactive displays controlled through a web page using the newly open source library AnyPixel.js. The Google Creative Lab built it for a really cool interactive display made from 6,000 light up arcade buttons acting as interactive pixels. Check out the video and grab the code from the post linked below. Project Tango has a new tutorial project that enables you to place virtual cats in your augmented reality environment. It's got a simple interface and, well, cats. <laughs> lots and lots of cats. In Daydream Labs, the Google VR team is exploring the possibilities of virtual reality and sharing what they learn with the world. In this recent post, they describe one of their app experiments, a keyboard made out of tiny virtual drums that works really well. Check it out. The Mobile Ads Garage is a new series that covers how to use the Mobile Ads SDK to display ads from AdMob and DoubleClick for publishers. Check out the series and the newest episode now available with a detailed explanation of the interstitial ad lifecycle, how to load ads, and how to display at just the right time. Every year, there are trillions of searches on Google, and over half of those searches happen on mobile. And across the millions of websites using Google Analytics today, we're seeing more than half of all web traffic now coming from smartphones and tablets. To help marketers succeed in this mobile-first world, we have redesigned AdWords from the ground up and rethought everything from creatives and bidding to workflow and measurement. Check out the post for highlights of recent announcements and links to learn even more. And if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single episode of what's new and awesome. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.